He goes, we're going to build a 40-foot high statue of you. I was like, I'm in. So Let's do it. So that was it. And that was in 2011. And yeah. I'm at home. You know, Amber and I, we had started having more kids. We end up with four daughters. And we're just living life. I'm, you know, chilling, doing my thing. And then, like, about, well, it's about three years ago now. I think it was 2018. I was working on... Uh, I was working on a, a construction project on a house I had and my mm. phone rings, it's probed. And I was like, man, I know, like Jeff doesn't, like he'll call me to say hi. If it's like Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever, but Jeff doesn't call to shoot the shit. You know, yeah. like he's like, here we go. Yeah. It's something. So he pitches me this idea of Island of the Idols. And immediately I turned it down. I was like, dude, like I'm good. Like I don't need to do this. Like, you know. Really? Yeah. And he's like, He's like, no, dude. He goes, I have this idea. I want like you and Sandra, are, like two of the most prominent characters uh -huh. on the show. We want you to come back and kind of mentor these new kids, show them the rope, show them like what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. Right. I was like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. He's like, listen, he goes, we're going to build a 40 foot high statue of you. I was like, I'm in. Sold. Let's do it. Sold. Where is that thing yeah. now? It's still in Fiji. I mean, <laughs> it, you know, it was crazy. We flew, I flew to Los Angeles and like I sat in a chair and they had all these cameras that did like a 360 yeah. surround of my face to like pixelate it to make it sure it was That's right. That's amazing. And then they sent that image down to all that uh, footage down to New Zealand. The guys from uh, Game of Thrones right. built these enormous statues, put them on a barge. Like you couldn't fly them. They put them on across a barge. Across the ocean. Across the ocean. Your to face Fiji. went across the ocean. They had two like <laughs> excavators like assembling it. It was like the most ridiculous thing. And they're like, every day I'm out there and I look up and there's a huge <laughs> freaking statue of my head. And Basically was, to uh, sell you. Basically yeah. to sell you. It was a nice touch on the show, but I think it was like, how can we really get Rob intrigued here? <laughs> it, was, it was cool. And then like, uh, you know, unfortunately, some other nonsense went on that season that kind of yeah. detracted from it. But it was fun to do. And while we're out there, Jeff kind of like pitched me the idea of season 40 and all winter season to come back and play with everyone. Yeah. And here I am like gone for, you know, six weeks, seven yeah. weeks when you do these productions. And there's like a 10 day turnaround time. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Amber. She's like, no, I don't want to do it. I was like, you don't really have a choice. We kind of have to do it. Like Survivor's given us so much over the yes. course of our life, you know, yes. like, and I know what this is about. Like, yeah. you got to go out there. Like every other person is yeah. coming for us for sure. Oh, right? absolutely. Like, like I, we have reputations at this point. We're also a married couple. So like, that's an alliance you can't break. Right. Um, I wish like some of the older school players would have been able to recognize that. People like Sandra, uh, exactly. just like some of them realize that like we need each other. Yeah. Otherwise these guys are gonna pick us apart. Right. Because almost exactly what happened in season eight All-Stars happened in season 40. And in All-Stars, Amber and I were not like the most popular contestants. Right. We're on the lower echelon of that. You gotta remember the first time I only like made it to like day 21, I think. So like we weren't really on anyone right. else's radar. Their focus was on the big characters, the winners. Now here it's a season of all winners, but all winners are not created equal either. Absolutely not. in the not. eyes uh, of exactly. the media and in the Absolutely. eyes of the other winners. Mm -hmm. So our target was definitely magnified. And uh, before the game started, because there was only 10 days between the start of 40 and the end mm -hmm. of 39, they didn't have time to destruct these huge statues. So the entire season 40 cast goes by in a boat on the way to start the game and sees these huge statues of Sandra and I. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that at that point they were like, okay, we got to get should rid of him. Who should be our target? Yeah. Who should we start with? And I mean, I think like the best thing, like it's kind of crazy, like cause season 40 was like, it was fun to be out there with yeah. the winners. Ultimately didn't win, but like, it was such a cool experience. And right. I think the number one thing 
I'm so glad I went because the, my favorite thing that happened in all the seasons of Survivor happened in season 40. I know what you're going to say. Yeah. When your family came out? Of course. Like Amazing. Jeff surprised everybody and my kids got to come to the island and like everything just like came full circle. Exactly. So that's like in a nutshell or longer than a nutshell <laughs> in a few a minutes. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of like the experience wrapped up. Thank you so much for watching. For more insights, education, and all things doing the most, make sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button right down below. That's right, everybody. Smash that like button and make sure you join our Discord for exclusive offers, tips, and a whole lot more. You might even be able to come on a yacht with us. Woo!